quick graph y equals the sine of the quantity x plus pi over 3 by hand two different ways. This is part of the family of functions series. You will need paper and a straight edge or you can download this PDF and print it. Press pause as needed any time during the video. Graph y equals the sine of the quantity x plus pi over 3. The first way is with what we call the sine dance. We need to recall what the graph of the sine function looks like and the five key points of interest. These key points and all the points are affected by the parameters in the equation. And the only one is a plus pi over 3 inside the argument. So the plus 3 inside the parentheses shifts each point horizontally to the left pi over 3 units. That's the only parameter. So the y coordinates are not affected, just the x coordinates. The initial point, the origin 0, 0, is shifted to the left, negative, negative pi over 3, 0, because we're shifting pi over 3 to the left, negative pi over 3, 0. So we'll plot that one. Well, before we do that, we do need to change the units along the y-axis so that this plots better. So we need to mark off every pi over 3 instead of every pi over 2. So we did that here, 1 third pi, 2 thirds pi, 3 thirds pi, which is pi. Pause is needed to get caught up. So now we'll go ahead and plot negative pi over 3 comma 0. And there it is on the x-axis. At the end of the period, it's normally at 2 pi 0. But remember, every point is being shifted to the left pi over 3. So it's going to come back to 5 pi over 3, 0. Which is also one period away from the initial point. Remember, the sine function has a period of 2 pi. Halfway between these two points is another point of inflection. So if you can see where that is halfway, it turns out that that's at 2 pi over 3 comma 0, exactly halfway between them, 3 thirds pi from each direction. And halfway between the first two points of inflection is a maximum point. So right above the halfway point there will be a maximum point, which will be at pi over 6 comma 1. And halfway between these two points of inflection is a minimum value. And that's going to be at 7 pi over 6, negative 1. Pause is needed. Connect the points as a sine wave. So that'll be concave down, then concave up. This is one period of the sine wave, so let's duplicate it in the negative direction to the left. So we'll start at this point and go back 2 pi units, one period. That would be at negative, would that be a negative 7 pi over 3, 0. This maximum will go back pi units, two, I'm sorry, 2 pi units, a period. This goes back a period, and this goes back a period. Connect the points as a sine wave, frown, and then a smile. And we'll compare it to the parent function. Parent function is in blue, our graph is in green. Each point is shifted to the left pi over 3 units from blue to green. Each and every point shifted left pi over 3 to the left. We usually say that the green curve has a phase shift of pi over 3 to the left. Instead of saying a horizontal shift, we use the word phase shift. Pause is needed. The second way is using a table. And so these are our values on the axis. Complete the table. Pause is needed. 
and you should just know these values along the axes. We do need to create a second table for our graph. We look at the parameters and it looks like we're going to subtract pi over 3 from each of the x coordinates. That's the only thing we're going to do here because we have to get it back because we're adding plus pi over 3 here. We subtract pi over 3. So 0 minus pi over 3 will be negative pi over 3. None of the parameters affect the y coordinate, so it stays the same at 0. And so we'll plot negative pi over 3 comma 0. Pi over 2 minus pi over 3. Well, we need to get a common denominator, which would be 6. 3 6 minus 2 6 is 1 6. So pi over 6, keep the y coordinate the same at 1. So pi over 6 comma 1, halfway between 0 and pi over 3 would be pi over 6. Pi minus pi over 3, again if you need to see the arithmetic it's shown here, that's 2 pi over 3 and the y coordinate stays the same at 0. So 2 thirds pi 0. 3 pi over 2 minus pi over 3, again the common denominator is 6. That would be 9 6 minus 2 6 is 7 6 pi, comma negative 1, and we'll plot that one. And 2 minus pi over 3 is going to be 6 thirds pi minus 1 third is 5 thirds pi, comma 0. Connect the points as a sine wave, concave down, concave up. This is one period of the wave. We'll plot another one to the left by going back a period, 2 pi, from each point. And we'll connect the points as another sine wave. Frown, smile. And we can compare that to the sine parent function in blue. Again, we say it's a phase shift left pi over 3 from the parent function to get to the green function. Now you try one. Graph y equals sine of the quantity x minus pi over 2. Use either method or both for the practice. Pause is needed. Resume when you're finished. And here's our answer in green. And you'll notice from blue to green, it's pi over, shifted pi over 2 units to the right, going from blue to green to the right.